today we're going to do a full lesson on Rise Against Great Acoustic Song, Swing Life Away. We're going to have quite a few different sections to this, there'll be five sections all together and we'll actually have a little solo acoustic part that we'll play as well, which will be quite fun and sounds really cool as well. So, let's get started with it. Right folks, as I mentioned at the start, there's five different sections to the song. We're going to start obviously with the intro, uh, this is probably the most recognisable part of the tune as well, with the cool little intro part. Now at the start, um, you will saw me playing it, I was playing it using a mixture of picking and finger picking. So I was using the pick and the finger, so a bit of hybrid picking. But what we'll do is I'll teach this to you with just using the fingers, okay, because hybrid picking can be quite a difficult technique. So what we'll do is we'll put the tab on the screen quickly and we'll get playing through everything that we need. So, first thing we need to do is we need to make sure we know the tuning of the song. Uh, the tuning is E flat standard, so that's E flat. A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. Now you can play the song in regular tuning, it will sound fine. This is just to fit along with the record though, okay? So we're in E flat tuning, so get your tuners and just tune down all your strings down a half step. Now, with the tab, what we're going to do is we're going to be playing the open sixth string along with the open second string. So we're going to use our thumb and our middle finger together. So it's the sixth and the second string played together. Then we're going to use our index finger on the third string. Then we're going to use our thumb on the open fourth string. Okay, so that will give us three notes all together. We'll play together at the start. So it's six and two, three and then four. That's our first part. Then what we're going to do is we're going to change, so we're going to use our left hand now. We're going to put our middle finger at the third fret and our index finger um, at the second fret of the third string. Okay, so we're doing six and three this time, fret uh, string wide, so we're using our thumb and index finger together here. Play three and two together, then play the open on the third string on its own, and then you're going to move your pinky or your third finger, either one's fine onto that 4th fret on the 4th string, so it's, that's our first part, or sorry, our second part there, so we'll have, so we'll finish with a thumb hit here on the 4th fret, the 4th string, and then we're going to change to just an easy little C sus2. Now for that, what we're going to do is we're going to go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, so it's a nice simple pattern on that. So we'll put it all together. Okay, so you can see that down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Now we'll do that three times. Last chord It's a little D chord, okay? So C sus2 was quite an easy one there, we're just using the third fret on the fifth and second string. We're gonna use our index finger at the second fret on the third string here, and that'll make our little D shape. We'll keep this third finger at the third fret on the second string here. Okay, so give us that sound, sorry. So we'll get from the C we'll get straight onto the D. You can see it's just a one finger move. And on the D we're doing down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Nice simple stuff there. Okay? So that's how that first part will sound all the way through. So now that we've done that, let's move on to the verse. Right folks, our first part is very, very simple. We're using E5, G5, C5 and D add 11. So let's go through the chords. E is a very easy one, we're just using your index finger at the 2nd fret of the 5th and 4th string. Strumming down 3 strings from 6, 5 and 4. Changing to a normal power chord shape, which is at the 3rd fret here, um, on the 6th string. Then a normal power chord shape just underneath that, starting on the 5th string there. That's C5. Then we're going to use D add 11. So that's a C chord. Just moved along two frets. Great sounding chord that one. So, strumming pattern is just going to be down, down, up, down, up, the whole way through. Nice and easy. 
We're going to pan meat it though as well. So pop that pan down where the strings meet the bridge, down here, and let's try it through. So we're going to have one bar of E, one bar of G, two bars of C. We'll do that three times through all together. Then we'll have a full four. Add 11, so that's down, 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 down. Okay, so that's three full strumming patterns and a big down stroke and chop off the sound at the end. Okay, what I'd also like you to try as well, hopefully, if you can do this, is to accent those up strokes so that they're not pan muted. Okay, so what I'm doing there is I'm going. You'll hear um, Rise Against do that when they play this live, especially. Okay, you hear that sort of accented sort of upstroke. Takes a bit of practice, but see if you can add that in as well, because it adds a nice bit of effect to the song. That's all there is to the verse. So the verse goes through the same every time. You just have to keep playing through those chords. Three lots of E5, C5, uh, G5 and C5. And then play through the D add 11. And that's all there is to it. And that will lead on to the chorus, which we'll go on to right now. Right, our chorus is very, very simple. Okay, we're just going to have five chords. We're going to have some nice different shapes in this though. Um, there's quite a few tut tutorials for this song, but not a lot of them cover the proper way to play this. So I'll show you the proper way to play this lead part. Because we can't play them as simple open chords, but it sounds great playing them up high here where Tim McElrath plays them. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll play this first one. This is E minor. Okay, we're going to use C as well, G, A sus4, and a D5. So we'll put those on the screen. First one though, E. We're going to use the 7th fret on the 5th string, and the 8th fret on the 2nd string. Strum down all the strings, apart from the high E string, and we're kind of muting out this open D, which is the 4th string. Strumming pattern's exactly the same, down, down, up, down, up. Nice easy stuff. Middle finger at the 8th fret on the 6th string, that's our next chord, and we're going to be using our index finger at the 7th fret on the 3rd string. We're muting out strings number 5, 2 and 1 as well. Okay, so you're only really hearing 3 notes coming through there. Next chord is just a simple G5 sort of thing, nice easy stuff. And then you're doing A sus4 afterwards, so it's E minor. Then C sus2, then G, then A sus4. That's the first part of our chorus. Second part is E minor again. Then C, then straight to D5. Which is a nice simple shape like that. You can see that chord on the screen there. Okay, and the, what they do, the, the song will just kind of loop through on that in the chorus. So. straight into the verse and then what will happen at the second chorus that will lead into the solo part which we're going to go on to now and try okay so that's all there is to the chorus right our solo section is the hardest part of the song but it's also the coolest sounding as well okay so we're going to be using some of the chords that we've already um, had today okay and we could put up a tab for this but the tab will be quite messy looking there'll just be lots of different notes so I'll explain through what I'm doing here and I'll try and do it as quick as possible for you so we're going to start our little solo section. It starts like this. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with an E minor, just like the start of the chorus. Okay. And we're going to walk down like this. Nice simple stuff. So we're going E minor to the seventh fret afterwards. So we're moving this eighth fret note on the second string to the seventh fret. Then we're just going to play like sort of just like an, an open on those strings there, just on like the three, so 
sort of middle sort of strings, the, the fourth, the third, and the second. It's kind of like it's kind of like a messy little move that you would do, like that. So we're not looking for a, a specific thing, but try and keep it to the the sort of middle three, four string sort of thing. Okay, so we're going to go like this. E minor, walk it back to the seven, then open, and then to this G shape that we use in the chorus. So we'll have. Okay, so that's down, 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 down. Okay, it's all down strokes there. And then it's up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. I suppose technically on the G. Down, down, up, down, up. Okay. Then we'll change to this C shape. Now this is this is a cool part. We're going to keep basically the same shape here and change between a C sus two using two different fingers than what you would normally do. And then the index finger is going to move up to play a G as well. Okay, so our start point is the third fret on the fifth string and the third fret on the second string, and then we're moving up to the third fret on the sixth string there. But before we do that, we're going to be doing this. So it's three and five on the fifth and second string. Then back to this third fret here. So we're going five and three. The only thing we've moved is the B string notes, the second string notes. Five to three. And then move that fifth fret on to the third string. Then we're going to change up to this G. But we're going to add in the third finger at the fourth fret, okay, on the third string. And we're going to play that just playing with the third finger down and then the third finger off. So that's like a G chord with that third finger on the fourth fret and then G chord without it. Okay, and that's all we're doing there. We're going five, three on the second string, up to five on the third string, then changing to our G chord with the third finger down on the fourth fret there. And then off to the open. twice. So we'll play through the first part. Okay, and then we're going to change to... It's quite an easy part of this. We're just going to play the fifth and fourth string together, but we're going to be moving the fourth string note two, four, five. So it's just two strings played together, but we're going to go two, four, five. Then down to a D. Now that will complete the first part of your little solo. So we'll play all the way through again. E minor, G, then three, three there, and then a three again. We'll do it once more. So it's E minor, then G, then C with the movement, then G, then C with the movement. Then G. Okay, so that's your first part. You're going to do exactly the same thing for the second part up until you reach this little A string note, the fifth string note, when you're moving this. So we're going to go. here is moving that sort of fifth and fourth string movement that we're doing. We're going second fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, fourth fret, using the strumming pattern as well. Then back to C sus2 for two bars. Okay, so we're playing the fifth and fourth string together on that part, just moving that fourth string note from the second fret. 5th fret, 7th fret, 4th fret, and then back to a C, okay? That will lead into a sort of like, this, this, the first verse kind of repeated, um, the little part of the first verse repeated, and then it goes back into the chorus, okay? So we'll play through all the solo quickly, and then we'll just do the little outro part, and then that'll be the whole song done. Sure. 
you love, you show me yours first. It's kind of like the verse, but played with just nice, simple open chords, and then you'll play that again. And then it will lead into a final chorus, and then we'll do this outro. So let's move on to the outro now, and that's our last part of our song. Right, our outro is our last part, so well done for sticking with me. All we need to do here is play an E minor 7, a G, and a C sus 2. Uh, we'll add in a sneaky little A sus 4 in there as well on the third time through this part, and then we've got a little riff at the end, which I'll explain. So, this is the part, this is the bit that just goes through. Okay, it just keeps repeating at the end. Okay, so you can see the chords I'm using. I was playing E minor, down, down, up, down, up, G, and then C sus2, all easy chords, you can see them on the screen. So we'll do that twice, then the third time, we'll change it, E to G, then A, then C, then E, G, then C, for three all together, and then we do this little riff at the end, which is almost the same as the start one. We're kind of outlining an E minor chord, we're just using the open 2nd string, open 3rd string, 2nd fret on the 4th string, and then strumming down a G to finish. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just sing that little last part again, all the way through, and play with the chords so you can follow it through, and then that's the whole tune done. So here we go. Swing life away. managed to follow that through and you can piece together the parts and get this great song like play through yourself. Thanks for watching folks as always remember to rate comment and subscribe let me know what you think of the video and if you can I'd be really appreciated if you check out my Facebook page which is Central Guitar Lessons the link is in the description down there if you check that out and pop in a wee like for me that would be great so thanks again for watching and until the next video take care.